excited to be part of this campaign and this week's been fantastic for the community to get involved with doing the artwork, um, doing the, the lyrics for the song, um, getting all the recording done. It's been really fantastic. And we're looking forward to seeing the end result of all the resources that we'll be able to say is ours. And it'll mean so much more to the community. When someone is diagnosed with diabetes, they've usually got no symptoms that, they, that it's there and it's really only through a blood test that we can find out. So with that, even when you've got diabetes and we're checking your eyes, you may not have a problem with your vision. You might think you're perfectly fine, but it's that slow um, progression of the condition that we need to monitor for before you get any signs of problems. When you've got diabetes, you can get problems with those little blood vessels can burst and you have little bleeds going on in there. And you can also have the nerves get damaged and they call those cotton wool spots. And those are the things that can affect your vision in the long run. So what we like to do is have a look at your eyes every year and see if you've got any of that damage happening. And if you have, then we can treat that before it becomes a problem. There's no warning signs for, um, for effects on the eyes you know, through, through diabetes. Make sure you go and get your yearly check um, and you know, check the, you know, the, the back of the eye stuff. And I remember Dad talking about the pressure Build up upon his eye. I heard today about a story about you know the blood, you know the bleed in the eye um, that you don't actually see blood coming into the eye. And, and and once again, it's probably something I would have expected that if it was the eye was bleeding, you would somehow see blood. So the, the only way we can you know can prevent that or you know to to get get ahead of it is to make sure we go and get our yearly eye checks. Well, diabetes is high blood sugar levels in the blood um, and it relates to either the body um, not uh, having enough insulin or not, um, not processing the insulin well enough or, or both. Well, the high blood sugar levels actually cause, uh, they affect all the blood vessels in the body and it's the same for the eye. So the high sugar levels directly cause um, damage to the tiny blood vessels at the back of the eye. So firstly, it'd be really important to have a, an eye checkup when they're first diagnosed um, and then every year afterwards. Uh, so it's really important just to attend. Um, it's not as scary as it sounds. So if people are seen by an optometrist and they think that it, it warrants further testing, then they would refer people to straight to an ophthalmologist, which is an eye specialist who's a doctor. Then you need the uh, laser treatment. And that's a, that's, a, that's a really scary thing at first because they put this glass cap over your eye and you can't blink. And you're looking into this, the room goes dark and you're looking into, this, you're looking into the camera like this and there's this red dot, the laser dot. And then they just, you can feel it going into your eye. It's, <laughs> it's um, but it doesn't hurt, you know, you know, if you want your health. I mean, I could have been, I could have been dead now, I could have been, could have been blind, all these other things. So I'm glad I had all this treatment. You know. So don't be stubborn about it. Yeah, don't be a fool like me. Kick the habit, uh, kick that stubbornness out of you and uh, go and do it. Just go and do it. Uh, a yearly eye check is really important. Um, even if you don't have symptoms because those changes can be happening without us even knowing it. I'm 14, turned 15 this year <laughs> and I had to come up to Ballarat and stay in the hospital for five days and they, I talked to a diabetes educator and nutritionist and well it's kind of hard because like I have to keep like a routine and all that on what to do, what not to eat, but like it's kind of hard because <laughs> like I'm young, so <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what and like what eye check was because <laughs> I really never had one. <laughs> like made me read like a couple of letters and then they put eye drops in, waited 10 minutes and then they put a bright light and took a picture of my eye. It could happen to me one day. Hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> I'd like to get my eyes out. <laughs> but, yeah. When I first got diabetes, they said, watch 
your feet, look after your feet. So I'd done that and I've still got my feet, but I'm losing the most important part that I think I've got and that's my eyesight. It, it affects everyone. Diabetes isn't a discriminant thing. My goal now is, I suppose, when you see the young kids today, yeah, I would not, you know, I wouldn't like to see any of them end up with diabetes. I, I really wouldn't. There's complications that come with it, but maybe they see someone like me sitting there, or someone else who, who actually is really, you know, totally blind, then it might make them sit up and think. I never want to be like that.